Hey guys, so today is my 32nd birthday and I can't believe I'm already 32, but I have to say that the 30s are pretty much my favorite thus far. You just have your shit together a little bit more. Not saying that I'm there all the way, but um, life just keeps getting better. So I decided to share with you guys 32 things that I have learned in my 32 years thus far. I mean, obviously I have a lot more to learn, but I think I've learned some pretty great life lessons along the way. So let's get started. Um, so my first one is, some of these are gonna be funny and some of them are gonna be more heartfelt, but isn't that like what life's all about? So uh, my first one is going with your gut and it's just something I think we've all heard before, but it has just become more and more true and more and more apparent in my life that um, when you have that gut feeling, you gotta go with it because at the end of the day, it's 99% of the time right. And number two is ask questions. Ask questions in your life. It's something that I feel like I didn't do enough of when I was younger because you know, I was scared. I was scared of what people might think. I might look stupid or whatever, but I really feel like asking questions is the way to grow. It's the way to learn. Um, you know, there's always people around us that know more. They're more educated. They've lived more life. Um, so just never be scared to ask questions. Number three is do before you're ready. So take action and just go for it before you feel ready because we're never gonna feel ready um, to do something, especially if it's something like we're a little bit uncomfortable with or a little bit scared of. Um, we're never gonna feel totally ready. So just do, you know, take that leap before you're comfortable with it. And you know, if it pans out, it pans out. If it doesn't, you know, you live and you learn and you can just grow from there. The next one is move every day. Move your body in some way, somehow, every day. Our bodies are not meant to be sitting at a cubicle all day. You know, I sit at a computer a lot of the time and um, just making sure that you move is so important because I, I always think like you see those 90 hundred year olds um being interviewed of like how long how did you get to live this long like what's your secret and seriously every single one of them are moving in some way i really think that's the key to living like a full full healthy life so and it doesn't have to be boring make it fun make it exciting and number five it's plain and simple eat cake or eat whatever you want that makes you feel happy. If it's a cookie, if it's a donut, if it's a steak. Um, you know, life's about balance and our bodies need fuel to live and thrive, but they also um, are meant to enjoy life. And I think food is meant to be enjoyed. Number six is ask yourself the hard questions. Um, you know, before you point the finger at somebody else, point the finger back at you and ask yourself like what you can do differently. Seven is travel, travel more. I I know that maybe not everybody loves to travel, but I just think it's so important to constantly be seeing different parts of the world and um, we can learn so much by seeing different cultures, experiencing different um, places in the world, different people. And so, you know, I, I have traveled a little bit, but I am always aspiring to travel more because every time I travel, I feel like my life is just enriched. Number eight, change up your routine. So whether it me, whether it be your workouts, your food, your, um, just your day, day to day routine, change it up. You know, I think routine and doing a lot of the same things every day is good because it keeps you on task. It keeps you regimented. But from time to time, we definitely need to change that up just because we need to keep life in interesting. Number nine, furry friends make life better. You know, that's just a fact of life. Let's see if we can get them in here. Uh, oh yeah, a one and Annie, a two. You just can't have a bad day when you see those faces. And number 10, 
Love your body, love yourself, compliment yourself. Every morning when you get up, look in the mirror and tell yourself one thing that you love about yourself um, inside and out. Life's too short to be body shaming yourself all the time, to be picking yourself apart, to be you know, telling yourself the things that you wanna change or you hate about yourself. So you were given one body, so love it. And number 11, this is about to get real. If you don't like it, change it. I know that I've had to have this talk with myself many times and it's like, we're in a situation where, you know, we, we don't like our body, we don't like our job, we don't like a relationship, we, we don't like whatever it is about our life and we can sit there and complain and, and wish things were different, but you know what? We have the power to change it. And number 12 is something that I've really had to come to grips with and know that it's totally okay, but relationships in our life will come and go. And so, you know, best friends that we had a long time ago may not be our best friends now. That doesn't mean that they aren't our friends. It doesn't mean we don't love them, but the people in our lives as we age and progress, um, they're going to change as well. And then next is self care is crucial. Number 13, um, you know, our society is just getting busier. Life is getting more chaotic and it's the thing to do, 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 go, 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 be more, do more, all those things. And we have to take time to come back to the center. We have to take care of ourselves because if we're burning the candle at both ends, then we're gonna end up being miserable, being burnt out, and really not enjoying what life is all about. So, you know, remember to take care of yourself. Um, number 14 is always be a little uncomfortable. And it makes me uncomfortable even saying this because it's those things, you know, I feel like I've had a lot of this lately where it's that thing that you know you should do and it makes you sick to your stomach and you really don't wanna do it, but you know you should do it and you're like, ah! But then you do it and it's never as big of a deal as you thought it was. And usually all it does is either it makes you learn or it just takes you to that next step where you wanna be in life. Number 15 is read more books, listen to more podcasts, um, do things that are making your brain grow, feed your brain, and always be moving forward. And number 16, if you have to force it, let it go. Just let it go. Nothing in life should feel like it's forced. I'm a firm believer that life should feel flowy, it should feel good. I mean, yes, like I said in the previous one, you're gonna have to do things that are uncomfortable, but you'll know if you're in flow or if you're out of flow. And if you feel like you're forcing something to happen, it, I truly think you should let it go. These are just two things that I live by, so they're, all, they're both going in number 17. High-waisted yoga pants and a spray tan. Nothing will make you feel better instantly. 18, try new things. Um, it's, you know, sounds so simple, but Every time you try something new, I know for me, if I try something new, whether it pans out or not, like it makes me feel alive. And um, I either find out that I hate it or I find out that I love it or you know I learn something from it. Number 19, sometimes you just need an ice cold fresh margarita and that's okay. And you know what? Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. Whatever it is, like something that just you want to do for pure enjoyment some weeks i just want a big fat margarita and that's okay um number 20. keep it simple life doesn't have to be complicated we overcomplicate things way too much it's like when it comes to clean eating it's like oh well should i eliminate this should i have this well eh. you know what eat what makes you feel good and eat clean, whole, real foods that we're meant to eat in life, balance it out with a little bit of dirty. Um, same with your clothes, same with your workouts, same with everything in life. Just keep it simple, don't overcomplicate it, don't overthink it. Just be 
and it will all be okay. 21, speak positive and you will live a positive life. Uh, there's so much negativity going on in our world right now that I truly believe if we speak positive into any situation in life, we will have a positive outcome. And so even if someone is trolling on your Instagram, leaving you mean comments, telling you you're ugly, telling you what you're doing is stupid or whatever it may be, picking you apart, um, you know what? Kill it with kindness. Number 22, don't procrastinate. I am the worst, I am getting better, but you know what? The longer you put it off, the longer you have to think about it, and the longer it's hovering over your head. So why don't I just get it done? Get it done. And number 23, give, give, give. Um, you know what, just bless other people. Um, it's super fulfilling for yourself and for them to just, to let others know how much they're loved and appreciated. So just never stop giving. Number 24, it kind of is like, um, getting uncomfortable, but this one is, if it scares you, you should probably do it. If it scares you um, in a good way, then you need to run towards it, not away from it, because that usually means something great is going to come of it. Number 25, take your own snacks to the movie. This is just a little life hack. And you know what? The movie snacks are way overpriced. They're never as good. You can load up your purse with so many more good snacks for way cheaper and you're already paying like, what, $50 for one movie ticket? So, come on, load up that purse and go. Number 26, never believe it's too late. Never believe it's too late to lose the weight, to change your lifestyle, to get a new job anything. I don't care how old you are. It's not too late to make that change to live your best life. Number 27, girls nights are life. We need them to live. We need them to thrive. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise, ladies. Get your girls, go have some wine, go watch a movie, whatever it may be, but we need them. They're good for the soul. They feed the soul. Guys, I guess you guys can have guys nights too, but I don't really know much about that. 28, Feed your body real food. I touched on this earlier, but it's back to the basics. It doesn't have to be complicated, but our bodies were intended to be fed real food. And if we do that, it will fix so many problems. 29, be gracious to yourself and others. We're way too hard on ourselves and we're way too hard on other people too. So be nice, be kind to yourself to your friends, to everybody you come in contact with, and this world will just be a much better place. Number 30, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. I hate to break it to you. I think a lot of times, especially this day and age, we're chasing the next best thing, we want the next best thing, and thinking that it's going to be bigger and better, but in reality, if we stay where we are and just really work on like growing that and making that the best life that we can possibly have, then that's really all we need. It's not always greener on the other side. I've seen way too many people go down that black hole and it's just not good. So water your grass where you are, where you're planted, and it's bound to be a beautiful, beautiful life. And number 31, remember life is short. It is, it's so short. I'm already 32. Never thought that would happen, but I'm here. I still think I'm 18, but I'm not. So just do what you wanna do. Live how you wanna live. Number 32, have fun. Have fun, have fun, have fun. Okay, have a dance party. Go do something crazy or even in just your everyday life, in work. Have fun with it. Because seriously, if we are having fun, then what are we even doing? What are we doing? All right, so those are my 32 things. I hope you enjoyed them. 
I know I still have a lot of life to live and a lot of things to learn, but those are the first things that came to mind. Um, you know, I really just sat down today and wrote them out and that's what came to me, so I'm going with it. So I hope you guys have a great day and don't forget to subscribe to Flex Fuel's channel. All right, guys. Bye.